Well, here we are at What the Fuck Corner. This is the base of the climb up the back of Falls Creek. And it's called What the Fuck Corner because that's generally the reaction the cyclists have when they reach it and see this ramp up behind me. It gets up to about 18% of the 400 meters of this climb. And the rest of the climb is an unrelenting around 10%. It's brutal and it has a nasty reputation with cyclists all over Australia. If you're doing the Three Peaks climb, you'll reach this point and be going what the fuck at about 200 kilometers in your legs. And really, that whole ride is all about this climb and making sure you get to this point with enough still in your legs to get yourself up this beast. It's a brutal climb. Uh, and one of the most important things is pacing yourself well. Right in the middle is a part that on Strava is called Pain Alley, which is about three kilometers worth of unrelenting, about 10 to 12 percent. And that's the most difficult part. You get through that, there's a little bit of respite. You know, you don't get cocky, there's still some nasty pinches after that. But that's the really tricky grind to get through. It's a beautiful part of the world, but if you're doing this climb, you're probably not going to see much of it. Anyway, so we're going to ride up this. It's a morning, it's going to be 38 degrees this afternoon, so we want to get this out of the way while it's still relatively cool. It's been a lazy winter, it's going to be confronting starting to get hot in the conditions like these you just got to keep going so we had a few GoPro issues so here's an animator's rendition of how the climb went it was hot already into the low to mid 30s and that road is completely exposed and the surface is totally dead so it's hard work Along with the pain, I always had to contend with being surrounded by a cloud of flies, which I regularly breathed in. I was sweating buckets, which washed the sunscreen into my eyes, and so brought some extra agony along with it. Good times. Good times. If you're doing this climb, the 5k mark is salvation. When you see this sign, the road flattens out briefly, and you can recover from that unrelenting few kilometers. After this point, each pinch is rewarded with a respite. As I said, don't get cocky. There's still some nasty ramps in there all the way up to Trapyard Gap. And then from there, it's slightly easier going all the way up to the top of Strawberry Hill and the plateau. Creek, this is a plateau. From here, it's about a 20k roll into Fort Street Resort and the end of the Three Peaks ride. If you made it this far, you gotta make it home. It's a spectacular part of the world and it's a great reward for making it up that tough climb. Uh, you know, the, again, the pain alley is a hard part. You make it through that and you gotta make it the whole way. But pacing, once again, is the key. We hope this information helps you up this climb, or convinces you to get out there and give it a try. If you are doing the Three Peaks or the Audax, we strongly recommend going and finding out about this one for the ride. It'll be a nasty surprise if you don't know what to expect. Okay, thanks for watching. Remember to comment, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe. See you next time.